At the tip of the South American continent is a land characterized by tall granite peaks, glaciers that seem to stretch for miles, and unforgiving weather. Patagonia, I like the blue waters and the mountains come right up to the water. Having first visited the Argentinian side back in 2016, with only a few days to cover, I knew I had some unfinished business. And I'm back in Patagonia, this time in Chile. It is super windy and I haven't even made it to the park. The real adventure starts tomorrow in Torres del Paine National Park, where I'll be hiking for 8 days and 120 kilometers. It promises to be an exciting time and I cannot wait to get started. <laughs> That's uh, Ichen. She's from Taiwan. And she's been traveling all over South America on her own. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> that pass must be named as Super Windy Pass, not just Windy Pass. Made it to Camp Chileno. From here, it's one hour to the base of the towers. Why is the last part always the hardest? The last 0.5 miles a rather brutal uphill slog to the base of the towers. On this side you have the mountain and on this side you have the last torus, the three towers. Salut, je m'appelle Sabrine. Euh, je suis en Patagonie depuis un mois et là j'ai commencé le trek W et euh, ça fait trois mois que je voyage en Pérou, Bolivie, Chine. Voilà. After the high of last tour, it is time to make my way back to the central campsite, which is where I started. That's where I'm going to camp tonight, have dinner and call it a night. Day one is done. It was a long and tough day, but I really enjoyed it. Also today, I was surprised I'm going to be staying in a refugio instead of staying at the campsite. So this is a nice little upgrade. The refugios are great. They have fantastic food. They have a really nice communal atmosphere. And this should be a great night to sleep in. That's the view from Refugio Central. Today is day two and I'm going to Camp Seron, one of the easier days on this eight day hike. Probably about 10 or 11 kilometers, seven-ish miles, shouldn't take more than three to four hours. This is Sebastian. Sebastian, that's my name. Hola Sebastian. He's responsible for managing this entire refugio. It's well stocked with wine, Gatorade, lots of beer, snacks, Doritos, chips, M&M sneakers. I'm nice and cozy in my tent now. It is cold and windy outside. By the way, the dinner was really cool. It was a three course meal, starting with a lentil soup, exactly what you need on this cold evening, followed by hot fish patties. And then to top it off, there was chocolate flan for dessert. Amazing, I'm so stuffed and ready to hit the bed. See you tomorrow. Hola amigos, buen dias. Today is day three. It rained almost the entire last night, but while we got rain, the mountains over there got some snow. And today is a 18 kilometer day. We are hiking from Serran to Dixon, passing over Paso de Viento.
so windy and steep pass so they went to here i come so after almost 2 hours of trekking i made my way up the pass and then down back again and these are the views these are the views looking towards dixon lunch with a million dollar view wow talking about the wind the conditions were absolutely brutal over the pass imagine walking in category 2 hurricane winds for close to an hour with no respite whatsoever and yet this is not as bad as it gets it's going to get even worse on day 4 as we make our way over the infamous john garner pass camp dixon almost there a chill beer fixes everything in life did you know patagonia has its own flag that yellow and blue color flag is the flag of the patagonian region covering both chile and argentina good morning from camp dixon It's 6 a.m. in the morning. It's quite chilly, but there is no wind. Similar to the previous night, it rained once again last night, and the mountains got a fresh dusting of snow. Today is a very short day. It's only a three and a half hour trek to the next site, which is Los Perros, before we go over the infamous John Garner Pass the day after. It seems to rain all the time in Chile and Patagonia. This is day four. and it has rained every single day it rains even when the sun is out but today it's cold as well cold and damp there is no chance of the sun coming out so let's hope we get through this 9 miles to los perros as quickly as possible all the first time i'm putting on all the gear that i have because it's cold that's where we slept last night beautiful campsite by the lake beautiful snow capped mountains surrounding the campsite there also a glacier that we could not see because of the weather yes another look where we slept last night right by that lake Patagonia definitely has a way of keeping you guessing whether it is the weather the landscape the mountains the glaciers the streams and the least of it all the lush green forest i'm walking through for the last 2 hours who would have thought of a lush green almost tropical like forest in Patagonia Hello. So after three and a half hours of hiking through some beautiful Lenga forest, we finally made our way to Los Perros, a really low-key, a very primitive campsite. Now it is time to rest up before the big day tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to go over the John Garner Pass, easily the most difficult day of this trek. It's going to be exciting. There's a lot of nervous energy for that already. and let's hope it stays dry tomorrow because tomorrow is a big day so mauricio are you ready for the john garner pass tomorrow going to be a hot pass man yeah yeah you I'm think ready. it will really snow over there yeah it's now in this moment so tomorrow we going to have we going to have some snow but you are you are a chilean you will do it easily yeah but chilean you know at the essence of the chilean people we are more farmers and fishermen than ah, mountain people okay. it's very strange because we have a A huge mountain range. Yeah, yeah. So we start to become more mountaineers. Are you guys ready for the John Garner Pass? Woo-hoo! That's where we are going. <laughs> <laughs> And it's snowing.
started from way back there behind that lake wow trying to muster all my energy and courage to go up this beast the conditions could not be more treacherous than this and that's the sun and fire to me i see that past is this great creature Holy cow how cool is that i never seen such a big iceberg in my entire life it's huge so after more than 8 hours of hiking we finally made it to refugio gray this is where we'll be sleeping tonight that is also end of day 5 if my calculations are correct so far i've hiked about 80 kilometers or about 50 miles in 5 days still with me then you guys are simply awesome don't forget to hit the like button and comment to trigger the algorithm and with that let's move on to day number 6 hey i'm anton from germany from dresden uh, came here to visit patagonia to make the o track it's a really nice experience a real adventure for me a lot of rain today Also a couple of sunny days, a little bit of snowing. Hiking on day 6 to Pine Grande was lovely. The terrain was much gentler and provided several views of the Grey Glacier. At times the glacier felt almost limitless. However, like most glaciers on the planet, thanks to global warming, the Grey Glacier has retreated several kilometers just in the last few decades. made it to Pine Grande that's lake Pehoe we encountered a lot more hikers at Pine Grande and the place seemed at odds with the rest of the park with plenty of time on offer i enjoyed taking in the views of the majestic Cuernos mountains and also devoured an entire pack of chocolate rolls so good these are the best thing in chile Today is a remarkable day. The sun is out. Look, I even have the sunnies on me. There is absolutely no wind whatsoever. Promises to be a great day. And I even have my bandana over here to make me look a little bit more badass. I'm Manuel. I'm a Chinese. I'm working in Buenos Aires. So I hope that I enjoy the view. Who is my friend? Really strong hiker. He hiked 35 kilometers on day one, and he's not even looking tired. I run right? marathon. <laughs> you run marathon? Yeah, that explains it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. What a grand welcome to Campamento Italiano. This is where we drop off our backpack and hike up to Mirador Britannica. We are here. We go up the French Valley all the way up to Britannico. Luckily, we don't have to carry our backpacks. It feels so great to be hiking without any backpack. Woohoo! Oh, I hate this hike. The uphill is continuous. It's crazy how steep this hike is. very tired welcome from francis camping that marks an end of a spectacular day number 7 the views from britannico mirador were fabulous we got to see most of the peaks in the park 
including the Cerro Pine Grande, the Cuernos and everything in between. It is time to rest up before heading back to Central tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow for day number 8. Good morning, it's day number 8. The last day of this kick-ass adventure. All that remains is to hike out 16 kilometers back to the park entrance where it all started seven days back and what an adventure this has been the scenery on offer over here is surreal and the weather ferocious as beautiful as the scenery might be at the end of the day it's the wonderful people that you meet on the trail that help to create memories lasting a lifetime hi i'm caroly i'm from germany I'm super happy to be on YouTube now. Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm also on a W track. I'm from Germany and I'm with Caroline. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm from the Netherlands. This is my second day on a W track and it's awesome. Hey, I'm Zvonimir. I'm from Croatia and I'm doing the old track with Jeet. In reality, excellent. Final two kilometers to go. Almost there to the finish line. I told myself that I'm going to celebrate with a glass of Pisco Sour, Chile's national drink. Or is it Peruvian? Not sure. But I heard the Piscos over here are lit. How do you feel, Mano? Good sir. The trip is going to finish. The trip I is you too much. <laughs> the trip is going to end. This goes out.